What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. I am super excited. We have been waiting for this video for quite some time. It is the first time we've ever spent the night at the ranch. We're at the cabin here and we've got some relatively dusty beds. Uh, you know, gravel roads do a number on these guys. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We strapped her down. We, we do have a bunk bed set um, that's been sitting in my basement for like two years. So now we're finally going to be able to get some use out of it. Hopefully, if we can get it inside. Um, but we are thinking about maybe doing a little bit of scouting tonight for turkeys as well. It's getting to that time. Um, right now, it's like 6.30. Um, sunset's at, I think, about 8 uh, or 7.45-ish or something like that. So we've got probably, you know, 30, 45 minutes. We're going to kind of unload what we have here. We've got some groceries. We're going to cook dinner. Dinner. We're gonna stay the night. Um, like I said, probably try to turkey hunt in the morning and then maybe make some breakfast um, after that and just hang out. This is the first time we've ever been here overnight, so that's kind of the plan. It's just like see what goes on. We've not been we've not been at the cabin or the ranch in general past like. 6 30 which is what time it is now so and that's when everything moves the deer move the turkey move the coyotes come out so like we're gonna try to go run around um right at sunset you know boots on the ground no mule we don't even have a mule down here they're all at home just kind of walk bring the camera along with you and bring you guys along with us um like i said and then just kind of do some exploring so first things first we got to check this cabin situation out here knock knock so oh it's not too warm in here oh no that's kind of warm all right let's see if i can get this ac going cool Oh, please tell me this works. Why aren't those buttons working? Oh, big rip. Why does it say 85? Banjo? Yeah. Not sure about this one. Oh, you got to hold on it. This kid's brilliant. I figured it out the other of the day. Okay, so 79 in here. It's a little warm. Yeah. We're going to crank her down. 68. Do like 68. We know the heat worked. We, we've never checked the AC, though. I mean... You would think it would... would if, the, if, the, if the heat works, the AC should work, I would think, right? Yeah, throw it on heat. Will it, will it heat? I mean, yeah, it's a little warm in here. We could open yeah, up some we windows. Got fans. Open up some windows. On, like, yeah. you can put rest the fan by the window, and we might. Yeah. It'd be a little steamy in here. I thought the AC would work. Big freaking rip. It only goes to 75. So oh, so you won't be able to test it. So, I mean. It might just take. I'll just throw it, throw it to on, and let's just let it rip. Yeah, it might I mean, take a second to turn on, because, like, when we turned the heat on, yeah. it had, like, a pilot light. Oh. Like so, I mean, the AC, you don't think it but it. It's an older. She's, we'll an, she's, an, she's an old gem. So. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this current bunk bed. So we're not doing anything in here, by the way. This is, we figured it'd be a little odd sleeping in the same beds as who knows slept in here. We like this, but we, we, okay, so here's kind of our thought with this is, and I can go over a little bit more, but we're thinking about ripping out these bunk beds here because we really don't need to sleep more than, you know, us three most of the time. I'm um, turning this into like a man cave, like TV, PlayStation, like some recliners or a big couch, TV on the wall. Like this would be like a dope hangout spot because there's also not a dining table. So we thought maybe put the dining table in here, take the couch out. So maybe put like a rug down or rip this out and put linoleum. So you've got the kitchen, then you have the dining table and then you've got the man cave. And then this is where we'll sleep. And we can keep like one bed in the man cave, but this... Yeah, I think the beds will fit. And I'm not sure about getting this one out without tearing it apart, but this is the current bed, which again, like, I mean, we could use them. It's just, it's kind of gross, I guess. Like, hey, huh? Why don't they have screens on their door? Wait, There's no screens on the windows? Screens? Screens? Yeah, all the bugs I, like, I like bugs. I like mosquitos. Really? Yeah, these, this doesn't have it either. Uh, yeah, I never noticed that. Ew. You got ripped off. Yeah, I got screwed. Oh, hell yeah, you got a free vacuum with this place. They leave a vacuum and the TV. Sick. So we got to get this out of here. I think our, our beds will fit in here. It'll it'll be tight, but they'll, I mean, it'll fit in general. It'll probably come out to like here. Oh, oh what happened God, here? Bro. The door is shattered clean. Oh my God. I don't need that anyway. Let's I just, say just take the door off. Just just give it give it one of those guys. Okay, so first things first, we're going to take this sucker yeah. apart, I assume. I don't, I don't, you think, don't think we can fit? No. No, that's pretty scary. No, nah, there's no way. So what, what do you got? You got some bolts? Do we bring any of those guys? I think that yeah. little toolkit has some. Yeah. Okay, well, first things first, we're going to disassemble this and get it out of here. And then we're going to have to bring in the new bunk beds and assemble those um, and then probably put... So does this thing not work? Nothing's turned on yet. Really? I turned that fan on. Yeah, that fan's helping a little bit. I mean, yeah, right now it's not bad. Like, it'll cool It'll cool That's it down. That's doing miserable sleeping, though. Not right uh, now. Not with the box fans going. Oh, we might just have to. We might just have to set up right. our bunk beds in this area. This is and try to keep this one area cool. But anyways, with that being said, let's get the one bunk bed that's in here out. Shoo! No 
more bunk bed, folks. It uh, took some redneck ingenuity to get that sucker taken care of. We ended up throwing some of it out the window. And so now we've got to put the big one together. I don't think, we, we figured out there's no AC here. So we have the windows open and it's hot outside. So it's not really helping too much. So we're probably gonna set the frame up in here, but we're all probably just gonna sleep out in that main room so we can run fans and like circulate it a little better. This back room gets freaking toasty. So we got the bunk bed disassembled and removed. Time to bring the new one in and get it put together. <laughs> got together we look out look at this there's look how much room we have it takes up the whole room but they're full beds okay then we'll be comfortable okay it's made made for like a single maybe a twin mattress we said hey let's put some fools in but look sun's going down it is time to scout for the good old turkey so how you do this i guess is you walk around with an owl congo like that and i guess they go if they're around so you got to find the roost that's kind of the idea so um we're, we're just gonna start walking around I, saw, I didn't look to see if there's any deer over here yet a lot of times they come to the, the feeder let's see oh there's a deer at the feeder hey there's a deer at the feeder yeah she's looking right at me you guys aren't gonna be able to see her look at big big sheila you guys can't see her there's a big deer at the feeder see how big the body is on her could be it could be a boy i guess i don't know they could have shit dude that's a big body deer <laughs> huge you guys can you, i know it's it's too far that's she's just watching i think that's a big old buck that's a huge body massive there might be two of them there might be one facing that way because i can oh, see yeah, the black see of the, the tail ass. see yeah, the ass, ass, ass end? Oh, yep there it goes shook. there's two of them all right dude that's a giant buck bro was that not the biggest deer you've ever seen yeah, they're running yeah you guys can't i don't know if you can see them running there's at least two well bumping them now doesn't do you any harm so all right we need the we need the hooter and we need to start walking we're going to start kind of walking towards the pond a little bit there could be some turkeys up there um but we might try that like when we get back we're gonna start walking that way and kind of scout let's see if we hear any turkeys see any turkeys whether we do or don't we're probably gonna sit tomorrow with El decoy out there and see what we get um but anyways you guys stay tuned all right here's an owl call i'm not good at this let's give it a shot <laughs> Oh, we're about to be covered. Oh God, we're in the old Crocs too, big breath. Didn't hear anything, let's keep walking. <laughs> the one time we saw turkeys, they were on that though. So let's go over there. I feel like I'd make a better sound with my mouth. You like that? Tell a high pitch. They go like at the end of it. I can't do that. It's the only place we've seen them. It was midday though, it was in the morning. You the thing with Turkey Hunt, you have to know where they roost, otherwise, it ain't worth much. So far, we hadn't figured out where they roost. Hey, sounds the same, does that it not? Loud That's a deer blowing. Oh. <laughs> Ran out of air. I don't think there's turkeys out here. How the hell would deer? I'm sleeping in. Uh, we've seen, we've seen how many how many deer have we seen? Seven. Yeah, you, you, you ain't shooting. Just... We, we were going to bring an extra crossbow for Banjo, and then we couldn't get it to work, so. You're just, you were just on spotter duty. I didn't do very good. You got the eyes of a hawk, so. <laughs> oh, looks like we're, uh... Dinner time yet? Time to eat dinner. Yeah, let's go back. It's wiener time, folks. It is dark. It is like 9.30 at night. We got the bunk beds figured out. We didn't film it because it was kind of, kind of a catastrophe. It, if we ever sell this place or destroy this cabin, the bunk beds are going with it. They will never come out ever again. It was quite the predicament. So we've got some wieners. These are deer wieners. These are cheddar cheese 
wieners, okay? Made out of the deer that we harvested. The whole goal with eating food here at the ranch is this is the place to where we literally only bring our wild game and like, no, I wouldn't say force ourselves to eat it as if we don't like it, but like, you know, you're at home and like you got this or you got burgers or a steak or you got fast food or whatever. It's not the, always the most convenient thing to, to, you know, heat one of these up or cook whatever. So that's, we're gonna make it a point to just bring as far as like the protein side of things go, only wild meat, that way we can go through it faster. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this little cooktop fired up. This is a new guy here. Go ahead and turn that. Oh yeah. Oh, dear God. I feel like this thing's gonna take flight. She's eating up. I'd say she'll warm it up pretty quick. So we're gonna throw some wieners on. I'd say we'll, we'll clear this whole pack. What do you think? Oh, God. You, oh, eat, yeah. you eating two? Like two each? Two, there's five, four, eight, 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 two and a half wieners. About. Make them all. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll make them all. Can't refreeze. So we're getting, we're getting these, we're gonna get these guys cooked up and ready to go. Um, and then we'll go inside and show you guys the feast, our first ever meal at the cabin. And then we're on a freaking bed. We're tired. And uh, we don't have AC. But we, luckily, dude, if I didn't bring those fans, have been ripped. we would have been we'd been running into town to get fans. Yeah. It was like 78 when we got in there, 79. It's down to like, what, 73 now? Oh my God. And outside, it's probably like mid-60s. So honestly, overnight, it should cool off quite a bit. So anyways, let's get these freaking wieners on. These are my favorite ones. These are cheddar cheese. We've had some jalapeno ones. They're okay. They're a little on the spicy side. Banjo's butthole doesn't appreciate it. But these guys are a little, little more banjo butt friendly. And you know they're the good ones when they come like that. Like that's when you know you're getting the good stuff there. Throw these guys on there. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna throw all of them on Did you there. Wash your hands. Yes, no, we don't have running water. <laughs> we don't have a toilet. Okay, here's the thing. This place, this place is like not that bad. Okay, it's got running water. The problem is the it sink just leaks. The sink leaks. And then I had the septic guys come test the septic tank and they took the toilet off and broke the toilet. So we don't have a pooper and we can't wash our hands. Or shower. Um, yeah, or sh or shower. What's funny is like I like spent this money on this cabin, a place and like we can't wash our hands, we can't go to the bathroom, we can't shower. Like this Might has well the, not even have this has the amenities and it of, doesn't have AC. Yeah, this has the amenities of our off grid cabin. And this costs a million. Rip. What happens if I get a deuce in the middle of the night? You can it, plop it in the woods. On this, on thing, the, the thing woods. is, you're at the ranch. You don't need those nice events. We gotta, you gotta be one with nature, you know? Really? Go poop in the woods. I've never pooped in the woods. <laughs> oh, I've done a plan. Banjo's plenty. Once a week, he's out there squatting against an oak tree. We he, were uh, hunting, duck hunting, and I used my sock that one time. Yeah, true. Big he, he always comes back with one sleeve, one sock. Anyways, we'll let you know when these wieners are done. Phew! Hot. Look at these weenies. You ever seen a better looking weenie? Feel pretty, no. feel pretty warm? You ain't going in raw? Nah. We're going in raw. Nasty. Sicko. <laughs> Gotta hear burn the roof of your mouth for sure. Is it hot or is it not hot? Are they done? We're done. Oh, really? Um, we got cheese. Ooh, the it's old cheddar. You can't good. even tell that's deer, can you? No. They're so, like, I don't, I want to know what the ratio is, like deer to pork or god 50, knows 50. what. 50-50. You think it? I would, I would honestly say it's probably 25. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, they probably throw a lot of pork in there. Oh, I had a blowout. That's great mustard job. There we go, boys. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. How's that make you feel? You can't even tell it's deer at all. No. That tastes good. Oh, yeah. Actually, there's a little bit of game. Really? A hair. Like, enough for where I'm like, that's not a hot dog. <laughs> but he's a big in the way guy. <laughs> hey, how's it going? He's a big ass hair. just going. moving and you keep going with him. Dude. That was a terrible ketchup job. Really? And some mustard. This fire. The old double whammy. Oh my gosh, yeah. He doesn't know the squirt cocked. <laughs> He's going deep. He's going deep. <laughs> Holy. How's that? Mmm. I pretty, like that. That's pretty fire. Yeah. Is this the first time you've ever had these cheddar wieners? Who did and I have had them? I think second. I had them This, is, this is the second time? Mm -hmm. Well, this is going to be our dinner. We got wieners. We got some chips, some cookies. And uh, we're pretty much gonna call it call it a night. We we gotta practice. We show them the. Bag. Oh yeah, we should probably show you guys our finished product over here. Look at this. Banjo sleeping in here. Oh, it's cool in here. Oh man, oh, this is rip. nice in we here. We might have messed up. We might have messed up. I get my own room. Dude, this is it's nice oh, and yeah, cold. Oh yeah, it's nice in here. Oh, he's like right in the line of the fire of the oh, fan too, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be the coolest for sure, and we're gonna be a little warm in there. But you guys are snuggling. Yeah, me and Pulcher are spooning. Show them your room. Yeah, look at our room over here. So we got the bunk bed figured out over here, and then. We were, we were nervous that that room wouldn't be cool enough, so we put two beds over here. Uh, it's pretty cold over here too. It's 74, so it's getting there. So we got 
Two beds, pool jet, iron sleep here, banjo's gonna go in there. Eventually, once we get AC in here, or if it cools off outside, we'll throw the other bed up there. And for now, that third bed, I mean, ideally, find a, a way to, like, you, you need one of them them wall deals. How do you get one of those? Oh. Because you could stick it against that wall right Maybe there, sit. and then, you know, just move the recliner and then just pull it down. There's a name for those, I forget what the it is. The hideaways. That's one name for them. I don't well, know if that's- That's out of the couch, isn't that? What's that called? Hide a, hide a bed? A hide a bed? I thought that's out of the couch. What if what if we buy a hide a bed couch for the man cave and well, put a couch and then two sense. recliners? What's yeah. the other one where it just goes down? What's that thing called? Yeah, I don't know what that's called. You know what that's called? You know what I'm talking about? I've been trying to think of it this Either way, our third it. mattress yeah. needs to be one that tucks and flips up somewhere, yeah. whether it's in here or in the other room or something like that. So anyways, we're gonna feast up and then we're getting ready for turkey hunting. Good morning, buddy. Oh shoot! Oh, go back to sleep. Shit! <laughs> what is this kid wearing? Look at this guy. Does this hat not say turkey honey? It kind of does, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I got a pee. Hey guys, how's it going? It's the morning. How'd you sleep? I woke up like every two hours. Yep, me too. That sounds about right. Yep. What was the deal with that? Uh, anyone like, else hear me coughing? Yep. I got really yep, stuffy. Yep, you coughed all night, yeah. Oh, I got like really, really stuffy. Like, I can't yeah. breathe through my nose. It's because of the. We have the fans blowing straight up pollen in our freaking yeah. nostrils. And god damn, whatever the hell that thing off. is. You turn it off. I turned ours on low, but it cooled off pretty good. I mean, the temp, yeah, like I wasn't hot. the temp in here's got to be like 60, 65. I mean, it cool, it cooled off quite a bit, but it's the morning. <sighs> yeah, about every two hours, woke up, did not sleep very good, but enough. I slept enough yeah. to feel good about life. But we've got something here called pre-breakfast. Okay, this is a this is a duck hunting tradition that we are now bringing into the turkey hunting tradition. Strawberry cheese Danish. Okay, this thing's freaking fire. So we're gonna get. We're gonna pop a chalky milk here. Oh, we forgot the chalky milk. Big rip. Show my belt buckle. Could, huh? Google oh, the old GS belt yeah. buckle, buddy. Buddy, buddy straps. Can't wait to go get sit against a tree for the next hour and probably not see a turkey. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you were getting that coffin game going. God, that was bad. I was trying so hard to be quiet. <laughs> I was. I mean, I was awake anyway. It didn't matter. Well, you should have said something. I would have let her rip. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I'm awake. So, a little cheese Danish. Pulja, you've had one of these, right? Yeah. These are fire. Yeah, we ate one. Banjo eats these like once every other day. It's oh, the whole I thing. I have these at my apartment all day. This is your go to breakfast? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Does that wake you up? I'm ready for turkey? Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. You think you're going to see one? No. We'll hear him, but we won't see him. If we hear one, I'm happy. I mean, I hope to shoot one, but we didn't locate him last night, so if we hear him this morning, maybe then we can come back and hunt them, but... Mm. Well, we're gonna eat, we're gonna get dressed, I gotta go pee, and we're going hunting. You guys stay tuned. Man, just get that ghillie suit on. How's that looking for you? You excited? We're shooting one today, aren't we? I'm feeling it. I got I'm my I'm my tent set English. Wow! You got that was a, that, that was a good, good one, too. One, my, uh, my, tur my tur- that... <laughs> Yeah, my turkey senses are tingling, okay? Oh, that's what you're Get the old galley on. How's it look? I feel like turkey is about, like, one of the only things you really got to go, like, crazy for. And you, and, like, don't move. That's the thing I've heard. Like, if you're in camo and you don't move, they'll come right to, like, two feet from you. Okay, so we got the whole get up here. Small, smell pool jet a mile away. Is it, did that thing come with a face net or nothing? Uh, no, but we have some in a different Oh, okay, good. Backpack. Oh, yeah, 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 you're looking good. All right, let's get these gillies on. Looking good. You think so? We're cut. Look at these gloves, okay? We're head to toe in camp. Ooh, oh, really? There's frogs in here. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay, so. well, we got three dudes dressed in ghillie suits here, okay? Packed up, ready to go. Turkey hunt adventure. First time ever turkey hunting at the ranch. We've got a hen decoy, tom decoy, a box call, because that's about all I know how to use-ish, some cameras, and we've got one hour before shooting line. So, you guys stay tuned. <sighs> Decoys are out. We're good. I'm gonna find a tree to sit against.
Do you see many ducks around here? This is crazy. Watch this. There are so many ducks right here. Look at them. They're just dumping right there. Look at all of them. I'm not mad, okay? We found out the ducks like this pond. Hopefully, when they come down in the fall, they like it as well. But I did see a deer. Poor Jack couldn't see it, but it was like tucked way back there. I know it's early. I know this is like still prime turkey time. And you guys might be asking, why are you picking up and moving now? You're gonna, whatever. The thing is, we didn't locate them last night. We haven't heard anything this morning. I feel like there's none. Look at these ducks. This is, look at this. This is great, I like this. Look at these two right there. I'd be living out by now. We hadn't seen any and we haven't heard any. So it's still super, super early in the season. I kind of want to get these birds, if there are any turkeys still here, I want to get them dialed in for shotgun season. We brought the crossbow today, but shotgun season is what I want because me and Banjo can, you know, both be sitting there with shotties and, you know, shoot a couple of them if they come in and it'll be a lot easier with shotgun. So, I mean, our setup was good though. I, like our, our decoys, I think look good. Looks like a, a Tom or Jake chasing a, chasing a hen right there. So, I mean, and we were tucked up right in there i thought we looked good but we didn't we didn't see it because i saw one deer down there um so we're actually gonna pack up now try to kind of sneak out of here quietly just in case there are you know deer bumping deer at this this point in the air doesn't really affect much um but if there are turkey uh, we don't really want to bump them what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back we're gonna jump in the truck since we don't have any side-by-sides or mules or anything like that um and we're actually just gonna drive the roads around the property so we don't that way we don't actually bump them and basically we're gonna drive we're pretty sure there's no turkey turkeys on this half of the property but there might be some on that half and instead of walking potentially bumping scaring whatever we're just going to jump in the truck and we're just going to drive down the gravel road you know pick a corner turn off the truck listen for a bit hit the call or hit the owl call or whatever and see if we can just locate them can we locate the turkeys on this property but and then we're eating breakfast you guys stay tuned well folks we're driving and uh we found the turkeys, not on our property. And there's a lot of them. Dude, we're literally like 200 yards from our property. Watch this. Did you hear all of them? All of them. Dude, they all get it. Dude, what the heck? See how easy turkey hunting is if you find them? All of them. Dude, they all did it. I give up. Shoo! Pretty good at turkey calling. Just not on our land. Gotta ask the neighbors for some permission. I mean, that was, you saw, there was a lot of turkeys, some big ones, and they're so dumb, they're so, they're so dumb and horny. No, I was almost gonna go there. No, I'm not gonna go. Like, what do you got, what do you got, what do you got, what do you got? Deer bacon. Okay, we you got. had deer bacon? No, so this is made, at, like I said, it, earlier in the episode, our goal is to literally eat as much wild game as we can when we're here. This is deer bacon. I had it made out of deer. No idea how it works. And then we've got some eggs. We got a little cooker here. So we are gonna chef up some breakfast. I love it out here. It is. This is a I good like vibe. This is a good vibe. Yeah. I mean, you're it, it, we're about to have a tornado hit for sure. But I mean, chilling out in the morning, listening to the turkeys gobble on not your land on the neighbor's property. We saw a deer this morning, lots and lots of ducks. It was a good morning. Not the greatest night of sleep. Got to figure out that maybe you need a melatonin sponsor or something like that. And AC. Um, ooh, that thunder. Yeah, air conditioning would probably help a little nice. a little bit more. So, anyways, let's get the chefing. Got ya. What do you think about this deer bake? Do you think it's gonna be any good? Uh, my stomach, I don't know if it can handle it. Who just got the shits this morning? He, he <laughs> pooped in he pooped in a bucket. That was a nice because we don't have a working toilet. Yeah, can so, you get that fixed sometime soon? Yeah, I need to call the plumber because <laughs> I don't really want to deal with it. But a little deer bacon. You think it's the deer that's getting you fired up? Oh, something. It, it's got to be Danish. The, there's the, the Danish. It had to been the Danish. Destroyed right? me. How does a cheese Danish from Walmart hurt? Because it's Walmart. Hurt the inside. What is that? Do you think this is just uncooked jerky? <laughs> Tell me that's not what this that looks like. That is thick bacon. That is. I mean, 
I'm not sure about it. It literally is just uncooked jerky, I think. I think that's what this is. We're gonna get this good. Hopefully it's got some good fat, because I didn't bring any uh I didn't bring any spam or spray or butter, or nothing. Big rip. We want them them eggs sticking, can't have that. So Oh, what was this from this morning? <laughs> the old DP. Yeah, I should have checked it. You got, any, <laughs> you got any some smear marks on it? I might. All right. Well, we'll get this bacon cooked up. We'll let you know how it is. Woo! Oh, it's getting it's getting crispy now, boys. Drop this thing on freaking fire mode. You're not feeling it? You know, I think I'll pass on this. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure the old stomach can handle this guy. Yeah, we forgot the uh, forgot the butter, the oil, butter, or what is butter for. Well, it, like lube. Otherwise, it'll stick. How are you cooking the eggs? Are you doing scrambled? Or? It'll probably turn to scrambled, knowing. Nah, you got it. You got the whole flip. Knowing how little grease is actually on this. Give it a flare flip. You got it. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, you got it. Beautiful. You want guy? I think it's gonna stick pretty good. He's gonna load her up. See, I might just load her up that? and just, just give, give, her her the old, give her the old stir. You're gonna make an omelet. <laughs> I got a hard piece. It just tastes like hot too. jerky. Not bad, but it's pretty deary. Mm. I mean, I, I think calling it bacon's a stretch. More like ham. Yeah, it's more like ham. Deer, deer ham. Deer ham, yeah. Flavor's not the best deer I've ever had. No. Yeah, bacon's not. I feel like bacon's not the right word. It's I mean, right. I'll eat it. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't taste bad, but a little bit of game. I'll eat it. Yeah. It's not too bad. God, yeah. That was better than I thought you were going to do. I'm going to have to like it. A little early on that one. Banjo asked for sunny side up, otherwise I would have went joking. I would have went for That's disgusting. This? Sunny side up? Oh. I don't like sunny side up. That's fine. Really? I don't like a, like a runny yolk that they, much. They I like it like over medium. Not, not a big runny guy. Mm, it's kind of gross. It don't taste bad at all. It's just not bacon. It's pretty deary. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. What do you think about that? Mm. Not bad. It's like ham. It's like a ham bacon sausage mix. I'd rather regular bacon. Regular bacon. Yeah. It doesn't hit the same way no. normal bacon does. But no. it doesn't feel like it's not breakfasty. Like, no. It's just like, no. like ham. It's just meat. Let's go, Banjo. Oh, hold on. Yours, Thank you. Yours didn't come out looking quite as good. There you go. Thanks, Dad. Shoo! We are done with breakfast. Ben just taking a nap. Pool jet. He need needs, needs a toilet. So we are headed out. That was the first ever overnight at the cabin. I think I think we slept so well in the cabin. We should try a video outside the cabin where we go sleep in nature. You got you got survival challenge. You like that idea? Survival challenge. Yeah. So we we slept we slept so good in the cabin. Let's try outside the cabin. Oh, under the, under the stars. Van just got it in the tent. Pitch I'm, tent. You're good at that. I'm just great at that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you guys want to see a survival challenge in the woods, let us know. And let us know what other cabin videos you want to see or, or ranch videos I should say um, in general I had a good time I mean unfortunately the turkeys were just not on our property they were on the neighbor so hopefully we can reach out to them and, and see if we can get permission to go uh, shoot some of those little freaking thunder chickens out there they were getting it so I mean like I said, it was good it was the first time we've ever seen the ranch in the evening and in the early morning we literally come out here most of the time during the middle of the day so it's totally different um, we saw a lot more deer last night we ended up seeing I think like seven or eight deer total this morning we saw a couple um, and so it was it was good I had a good time hopefully we can get the the, the thunder chickens figured out the turkeys get them dialed in a little bit more but as you can see it's gonna rain so we are headed back home we will catch you guys on the next episode and peace